Welcome to Sunset Sabres with Sam. Today I've got a very special review, potentially the most important of my life. Beneath this sock lies the most badass saber. I present to you the Polaris SSE1 by Lama de Luce. This is a beautiful saber. So, you got something a little bit new, a little bit different from uh, what you've been getting from the U.S. saber makers. You get a lot of flash with most lightsabers because people, you know, want to use it to enhance their character, and that's super cool. But this is a little bit different. This is made specifically for fighting, uh, for saber combat. Um, as you can see, there's no button to obstruct your grip, and no cover tech will. They do not really wear these around on their belts at this moment, from what I can tell. This is for fighting. <laughs> um, the emitter. It's just very simple. Provides an incredible grip. I mean, this is the best saber grip uh, that I've come across. The pommel also provides for incredible grip. Incredibly precise. Love this design. <laughs> Many thanks to Daniele, the uh, one of the creators. Um, okay, so let's try and turn it on. So um, it's gesture activated. You can learn it when you get it, it's really no point in knowing it now, but that's how you turn on the saber. Then if you get into like a um, stalemate for a second, the saber will go off and you can just flick it back on. And then if you want to turn it off completely, you wait for it to go off and you wait an extra three or four seconds. So, what else to tell you about the Saber? Um, some really nice detail here. The uh, USB is super accessible, so you just plug in um, and you download the Lama de Luce uh, software. And you can change the color, you can change the flicker, you can change the flash on clash, you can change the sounds, you can do pre-settings so that you have three separate uh, sound banks with colors. Um, you can check the battery level. Um, pretty lovely. Uh, if you look under the pommel, you see in here, um, that's a little weight and you can twist it in and out with a nickel or something. So you can add more of those weights, you can load it up. Um, oh, another interesting thing about the light is that there's a secondary LED and it lights up this chamber. Let's see if I can show you that. Uh-oh. One, two. Yes. Very, very responsive. Incredibly responsive. Love that. All right. So, I think that covers all the basics. I think that pretty much gets you a good idea of what the Polaris uh, looks and feels like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, if I come across any new insights on this design, I will maybe do another. So, yeah, stay tuned.